All right, guys, we are over at day one, walking into the show. It's, nobody's really here yet. It's just started. It's eight in the morning. There's Garrett. This place is bananas. <laughs> it's, it's so big. We're actually thinking about, Garrett brought up a great point of how do you even figure out how to maneuver your way around here? Because it's kind of cordoned off into multiple sections. And there's dozens of rows. I mean, this is, have you seen anything like this? Well, before? it's not just that it's different sections. They're like lopsided and different shapes. Yeah. So, so maneuvering and just navigating yeah, just around. Where the heck do you start? Where the heck do you finish? So just getting started. We're going to drop some cards off at CGC. We're going to drop some stuff off to get autographed. And Garrett's going to start diving into some dollar boxes. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. crazy showcases you see here I'll do this quick but just unbelievable amazing stuff everywhere guys it just goes forever I'm glad I made it inside early holy crap it's pouring absolutely pouring and thundering <laughs> so People are going to be getting wet today. I'm sitting here with Josh, rated rookie. Rated rookie. Rated rookie. We're running around just up in the new area. I don't even know what to call it. But I keep coming back to Craig. A great dealer, great person, great cards. And I was able to pick up some cool stuff you'll see later. They're, they're here. But uh, are you concerned, Craig, about people finding this new area and getting up here? I don't think so. I mean... Kind of reminds me of that red carpet area. I think that was what 19? three nationals ago or something, yeah. where we were kind of in a back area, but it was really, it was really good. So uh, for me to be able to get two boots, I kind of had to look at the selection that was left. I didn't need to be back here, which I was okay with. But right. they've got an interactive floor plan now, and they've got a lot of information out there to be able to help the collector to find everybody, and they can look me up. So yeah. I think it'll, I think it'll still be fine. It's gonna be my third national here, so. I'm hoping that we we'll still get the traffic, and I think we will. Well, thanks for the deal. Yeah. All right, man. See ya. So setup is continuing. It's about 11, 15 or so here on Wednesday. Still about five hours till the show opens to the public, but it is probably half the dealers are out right now, and certainly making deals. I am getting a lot of really good deals. It's surprising. Like nobody said no to anything. So. That may bode well for people wanting to make deals this week. Yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to go grab some food. See y'all in a little bit. So the doors have opened. Danny Black is here. Uh, he just walked in. We got John Newman. This guy, Junk Wax Hero. See the height difference? It's kind of intimidating. But what's intimidating is how much, I mean, people that started letting the public in. And it's going to be busy. So I'm here with Tim from Signatures for Soldiers. We last year uh, met Tim and were able to, through the generosity of you guys out in the community, we raised money last year for him. We did it again this year with Hobby Palooza. You guys were awesome. And so Tim, I'm here to present to you on behalf of the YouTube community a check for $2,908. All right, not often I get speechless, all right? So, so it's a good thing, and this is amazing. Thank you. Uh, and that's guys doing 10 bucks, 5 bucks, 20 bucks, and just raising money. And you see how quickly that's up. It does. Yeah, and this is awesome. Everybody's going to go and help homeless and disabled veterans. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just amazed that so many people want to support what I'm doing. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, we're happy to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we are walking out of day one. There's JT, Dave, Caden, Josh. Is it a zoo in there? It's crowded, man. I've never seen it like this on Wednesday. Yeah, it's freaking Wednesday. It's nuts. There are so many people here. 
and it, the show's got another couple hours probably tonight. Yeah. We've been I've been here since eight o'clock this morning, so that's enough. Um, did some great purchases today. I can't wait to show you guys my card. So I'll show you in just a second. See you. All right, back in the room. <laughs> Exhausted. These dogs are barking. I am tired. Um, been a long day, awesome day at the show. Got to see a lot of people, got to meet people. It was awesome. Best part of it is that. Just got done with some dinner with Blue Jacket 66 and his son Caden and JT and Josh. Uh, so just ready to chill for the night. Uh, I am exhausted. And I had some other events I would love to go to, but it's just too much. Um, you can't get to the show at 8 a.m., walk around all day and, and do stuff at night or function when you're an old man like me. That's just part of it. But I did have a blast. I'm telling you, it, it was once the public got let in, it was crazy. It was so nice to have all morning and, and early afternoon to kind of buy stuff without the chaos of so many people. And there's a stack over here. I, I did really well today. I got a lot of cool stuff. I'm just gonna start showing it to you and explaining it. And let's look at some cards, hang on. All right, here we go with everything. Uh, first was a gift. Uh, this was from Josh, rated rookie. Little Dak Prescott patch auto. As a Cowboys fan, I love that. So that was awesome, thank you, Josh. And then I got a gift from JT, uh, Trayvon Mooring, he went to TCU. So not an expensive card, but cool that he thought of me to give that to me. And then I got a bunch of player era autographs. Um, I'm just gonna go through these quick. Uh, Bly Levin, 76, these are all ones I didn't have. Uh, 74, Ted Williams, a Diamond King of Frank Thomas, uh, 71, Raleigh Fingers, 76, Jenkins, Tim Raines, Tim Raines, little Duke Snyder, 64, Gaylord Perry, the Goat, Harold Baines, another Bly Levin, and another Williams. So, yeah, just picked up. Those were all really cheap. Uh, I'm not going to remember a lot of prices today, guys. Everything happened pretty quick, so... I'll just do my best. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I got a Patrick Mahomes <laughs> prism. If, you're, if you watch this channel, uh, yeah, why is Mike buying a football card? Well, I watched quarterback and I, it really made me like Patrick Mahomes even more than I already did. And I thought, man, if I can get this card uh, relatively cheap, I'm gonna try to find one. And so I had an Ellie De La Cruz patch card number to five that I found the other day, literally just in a random box of cards that I had at home. So I brought that knowing how hot he is and I was able to trade that and a couple hundred bucks and I ended up with a Patrick Mahomes. So I always trade knowns for unknowns and as, as good as Ellie De La Cruz looks, I'll, I'll take a Mahomes rookie all day over that. So. I've wanted one of those and I'm not into it a lot. So that's fantastic. Uh, next up, another Diamond King. You saw the Frank Thomas. I picked up this Ken Griffey Jr. I, didn't, I don't have any Ken Griffey Jr. Diamond King. So this was a huge pickup for me. And I, I just love it. Uh, 90 Donruss, Ken Griffey. I do remember the price of this card. This was a, literally, I was just walking around with Josh and we were waiting on some people and I saw this and he had 15 bucks on it and I paid 10. Got a slab mantle for $10. Not really, but 75 tops, MVPs, um, just a crazy, just impulse purchase for sure. This was not an impulse purchase. Uh, I love my Hall of Fame rookie autographs and this Robin Yount is awesome. 1975. Signed Robin Yount. That was actually pretty cheap. I think he got it for 160 and I paid 130 So that was, I thought, reasonable. Another, I got cheap and not cheap. You know, I, I love the mix, right? I love buying stuff that's not expensive. This was a $15 slab, 
Jim Cott for the four decade set. Not as cheap, but Bob Gibson, 1969 tops. We needed that. That's in a PSA six. Uh, most of these cards, like this looks really good for a six. Uh, 69 and, and you'll see that a lot and I'll tell you dealers were willing to deal there were deals to be made today I got told no zero times every every time I wanted to buy something I got the price I wanted to pay and couldn't believe it like okay sure it was the answer all the time the 68 managers dream cards one I've been on the hunt for a while I love it I love multiplayer Hall of Famers you got two now Oliva Recently elected and, and Bob Clemente, Roberto Clemente. This is a three, but uh, I don't think the price, yeah. I, I didn't pay a lot for this, maybe 20 bucks. So yeah, seriously, $20. Uh, Orlando Cepeda, 1966. Another four decade card and a beautiful four, actually. This is a gorgeous four. And I think it was 15 bucks, maybe, something like that. 64 tops Warren Spawn. This is the last Warren Spawn that I needed for his run in a PSA 5. Uh, it says 59. I did not pay that. Uh, I paid 40 for that. So, yeah. This was a 63. This is a high number. Uh, Duke Snyder. Not a cheap card typically, but when you have a 3 like this, that's not the greatest of centering or anything like that, but for my collection, this is good. Um, no price, but 20 bucks maybe, I think. I paid for that. This is a toughie, 62 Willie McCovey. This is the last McCovey that I needed. Uh, this is always a tough card. I've always been resistant to buy it because it's a high number. And that 160 was sticker and I paid 130 for that. So beautiful, sharp card. Rick Vintage All Ball looked at it like that's gorgeous. When you get the you get the Rick seal of approval, that's good. I did pick up a mantle, a real mantle, not a not a crazy mantle. I I have long been after this sixty one tops All Star. It's one of those cards that has eluded me just because of the price, but it's a high number. Sixty one All Stars. I love the newspaper PSA five and. No price. I paid. It was, I think he had five fifty on it, and I paid four eighty five. So there's that. Little Gil Hodges, nineteen fifty two Bowman. Hodges, Minoso, those guys. I'm still looking for a lot of their cards. This was a three and not expensive. Uh, so actually, I didn't remember he had ninety on it, and I ended up paying. 50 for it so he came down a lot and because I showed him comps and it and it just didn't comp for a lot but not 90 that's for sure 50 Bowman uh, this, one of my goals is to get a few 50 Bowmans because I need so many of them for the Hall of Fame run this beautiful Rizzuto in a five um I can't it was 50 bucks maybe something like that cheap Lots of cheap slabs here. Two more. This was the other kind of card really targeting that I was looking for. I've been on the hunt for a 41 play ball PB Reese rookie for a long time. And this one spoke to me just in terms of it being a two. You've got the traditional play ball kind of discoloration there. Toning, I guess, is the better way to put it. But look at the centering. Um, there's a crease here, like up in the corner that is hard to see and doesn't, it's not in his face. The color on this is what really got me. It was so gorgeous. And I had Josh with me when I was buying this. I'm like, okay, tell me not to buy this. Like, tell me why I shouldn't buy this. And he couldn't come up with a very good reason because of the, where the price point was. And I want to say, like, you can even see like some toning on the back, but again, very normal for 40, 41 play ball. And uh, I finally have a Pee Wee Reese rookie in the collection. So super thrilled at that. This was definitely an impulse purchase. I am not a huge pre-war guy. I love and appreciate pre-war so much. And uh, Craig actually had this at his table. And 
I just kept looking at it. And when you, it's kind of that when you go back and forth to a card and you keep looking at it, you're like, I really want to buy that. I really want, it doesn't fit anything that I collect. It's in an SGC slab even. And then Peter Steinberg, the president of SGC came by and said, Hey Mike. And I said, Hey, I bought an SGC slab. And he said, you did, let me see it. So I showed it to him and he loved it. Uh, he's like, finally, we're getting Mike to our side. But this was, I didn't have any American Caramels, 1922, Tris Speaker, one of the greatest outfielders of all time. If you don't know, go look at his stats. Still the career record holder in career doubles. Um, and uh, Cleveland Americans, I know Scott Ranger Studios is going to love that. But I love the these two because it has the team on the back. There's some writing up here, like EH. I think the kid put his name on it. 230 was what he had it listed at. I got it for 200. So, yeah, I am. I, I just was like, I just want to buy it. I just want to buy it because it's an awesome card. And I'd love to add something like this to my collection. So there you go. That is it for today. You can see a lot of stuff was picked up. Uh, I do still have a little bit of money left, thank goodness. So I'm going to have a great next few days. And we'll talk to you soon. Keep collecting.